Mad Honey Book is about a teenage girl named Olivia McAfee who lives in a small New Hampshire town and keeps bees. One day, her 18-year-old neighbor Asher is involved in a tragic car accident that kills a young girl named Lily Campanello. Asher claims it was just an accident, but Lily's mother Ava believes he was texting while driving. The excerpt begins with Olivia selling goods at a farmer's market when her old friend Mike notices a scar on her hand. Olivia reminisces about how her abusive ex-husband Brayden burned her. Mike subtly offers help by slipping a card for a battered women's shelter into the money he gives her. During a recess in Asher's murder trial, Olivia comforts her son in a private room. She tells a story from his childhood about being afraid to jump off a diving board, comparing it to the difficult situation he now faces at the trial. Asher is struggling to remain composed in front of the jury. Dr. McBride, the medical examiner, testifies about performing the autopsy on Lily, Asher's transgender girlfriend who was the murder victim. He details extensive bruising on Lily's head, face, and body, and a fatal brain hemorrhage caused by blunt force trauma consistent with being struck or pushed downstairs. He labels her death a homicide. Defense lawyer Jordan Cross examines Dr. McBride, pointing out he is not a full-time forensic pathologist. Jordan accuses him of rushing Lily's autopsy, citing missing information. The doctor explains the omitted female reproductive organs were because Lily was transgender. The excerpt seems to come from a novel about Asher standing trial for Lily's murder. Key characters are Asher the accused, his mother Olivia, defense lawyer Jordan, murder victim Lily, and medical examiner Dr. McBride. Olivia tries to comfort Asher through the difficult trial. Dr. McBride's testimony suggests Lily was beaten to death, but Jordan raises doubts about his expertise and thoroughness. The revelation about Lily being transgender may factor into the motive for her murder. Olivia's own history as an abuse victim also plays a subtle role. Olivia and Asher have been close friends since childhood. Olivia wants to support Asher, but feels conflicted because her boyfriend's cousin Mike is the police officer investigating the crash. Mike and Olivia start dating, which strains her friendship with Asher. As Olivia spends more time with Mike, she learns disturbing details about the crash. It appears Asher was indeed texting when he struck Lily. Olivia cares about Asher, but feels she needs to reveal the truth to get justice for Lily. Asher goes to trial and is found guilty of vehicular manslaughter. He is sentenced to community service and must live with the knowledge he is responsible for Lily's death. Ava moves away, heartbroken over losing her daughter. Olivia struggles with betraying her friend Asher but knows she did the right thing. In the end, Olivia and Mike continue dating. She finds peace knowing she honored the truth while also supporting her friend the best she could. The book explores complex questions of loyalty versus morality. Olivia grows as a person by following her conscience, even when it means hurting those she loves.